This video discusses the fifth grade standard of comparing place values. Specifically, as you move up the place value chart, each place value becomes 10 times larger than the one that preceded it. And also, as you're moving down, each place value is one tenth the size. This concept will be extended for when the place values are two spaces apart or even three spaces apart. It's important to note that the digits that I'm using for examples are irrelevant. We are only looking at the relationships between the place values. But it could be a four, it could be a seven, it could be any of the digits because I'm only looking at the relationship between the place values. Here's a visual example. As you can see, I have a four in the ones place. Well, what would happen if I took 10 of those and lined them up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. If I were to take all 10 of these and add them together, then I would get 40 as an answer. So, the four would be moved up to the tens place. It would be 10 times larger. Showing that the four in the tens place is 10 times larger than the four in the ones place. But what if I only wanted one tenth of these? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of them. If I take just one of them or one tenth, I'm left with just four by itself. So four ends up being one tenth the size. Similarly, if I were to write out 104, so take what I have here and just keep on writing them out until I had 104s in a row and add them all together, I would end up with 400. The value would be 400. So I would need 104s to make 400, showing that this is 100 times larger. And to extend that, if I take this single four again, I would have one hundredth of my line of fours, showing you that a four by itself is one hundredth the size of the four in the hundredths place. I could further extend it if I had a lot of time on my hands and I had the interest to write out 1,000 fours. I'd just keep on writing and writing and writing and writing and I'd spend an entire Saturday afternoon doing this and I would see that once I add them all together, I would end up with the value of 4,000. Showing that 4,000 is 1,000 times larger than four by itself. And again, if I were to take this one four by itself, or one out of a thousand, I would have one thousand the size, or I'd have the four in the ones place. So four's one thousandth the size of four thousand. It's important to re-emphasize here that I only used four as an example here. The relationship would be true for the four in the tenth place or the hundredth place or even the 10,000th place. If it's one place value weighs times 10, two place values times 100, and three place values times 1,000. So, in order to answer questions about the standard, you need to know two things. First, how many spaces are they apart? How many place values apart are they? And two, is the question addressing the larger place value or the smaller one? Let's look at a couple examples. 45 and 41 hundredths. 45 and 41 hundredths. The four in the tens place is blank the four in the tenths place. Well, uh, first thing to note is that we're talking about the tenths place, which is larger than the tenths place. Next, we need to look, okay, well, how far apart are they? Well, let's start with this tenths place and count. One, two, so there are two place values apart. And two place values, means it's times, 
times 100 or 100. And since we're talking about the larger one, we're going to go with the larger value. So the four in the tens place is 100 times larger than the four in the tenths place. Let's go down to our next example. We have 598 and 926. In this example, we're comparing between two different numbers. So you might see that as well. 598, 926. Okay. How far apart are the nines? Well, there's the nine in this place value. And hop over to the nine in this place value. It's one place value apart. So it's going to be either times 10 or 110. Let's reread the problem. The nine in the tens place is blank, the nine in the hundreds place. Well, the, the subject of the sentence is the tens place. And so we are talking about the smaller place value. And since we're talking about the smaller place value, we're going to use the fraction, one tenth the size. Essentially, this standard is focusing students' attention on place values in their relationship in order to have a better understanding of numbers and also help with mental math.